what you're saying is that when we do the inner work to learn our own self-love, then it literally turns on a light bulb within us and people don't know. It's like a, in French, the je ne sais quoi. Mm -hmm. It's like the certain something we don't know exactly what it is about the person that's changed. Mm -hmm. And it also dramatically increases your personal magnetism. That magnetism is just a function of how you see yourself. Mm. Yeah. How do you feel about um, reincarnation? I talk about this with my, my mentor, who's a psychic medium. Mm -hmm. And I asked her, I always ask her so many different questions. And whether we can, do we keep evolving? Like as our spirit evolves, do we evolve into, like if we do come back, let's say we were an ant and then you get to advance to being a human and then you get to advance to being a spirit guide or whatnot. And then I asked her, can we go backwards? Like if your spirit is evolving and enlightening, can you go backwards? And I believe her answer to me was yes, which was interesting. Um, and I'd have to have her explain what, what she had said so I can I explain can it properly. Mm -hmm. You could, okay, go mm -hmm. ahead. Tell us. Well, what we perceive as time is not linear, first of all. Mm -hmm. So what is backwards and what is forwards? The only thing we mm -hmm. can do is look at the sky and say, if I don't have a watch, I can say we're going through the Zodiac and we go from Capricorn to Aquarius, Aquarius to Pisces, Pisces to Aries, Aries to Taurus, Taurus to Gemini, Gemini to Cancer, Cancer to Leo, Leo to Virgo, Virgo to Libra, mm -hmm. right? And Libra to Scorpio, and Scorpio into Sagittarius and then Capricorn again. That's the cycle. Mm -hmm. And we can see it. We can track it by the stars. But by the same token, on a 24,000-year cycle, for every degree we're moving forward, we're moving backwards equally in precession. That's why we have just gone after 2,000 years in Pisces. We're now going into Aquarius. It's gone mm -hmm. the opposite direction. Mm. Time goes forward and backward at the same time. So once we realize this, then you start to notice that there are periods of time in humanity's history mm -hmm. and future that relates directly to areas of golden age and areas of dark age and mm -hmm. iron. Mm -hmm. So the backdrop is determining a lot of the level of consciousness that you're in. You could be very, very conscious, like at the times of Atlantis or Lemuria, mm -hmm. and then all of a sudden the earth shifts into a lower consciousness. We're now shifting into a higher consciousness. Mm -hmm. But at the same time we're going up in consciousness, the world is also going down in consciousness. You can't have one without the other. Every action must have an equal opposite mm -hmm. reaction. Mm -hmm. So as a result, People that are very conscious can lose their high consciousness if the backdrop of the world around them is moving into an area of dark age. So we have to move quicker. We need to do this work. We have to spread this as quickly as we can to as many people as possible. Or also that we learn to surrender to all of it and fall in love with it just as it is. You know, I think a lot of people want to go to this, okay, escape room earth, right? Mm -hmm. What if there's really no escaping earth? What if this is heaven and hell? It's just simply what we make of it. What if Einstein's right, that time is simply a persistent illusion, and we see and believe it going one direction, that's why it only goes that one direction. What if, I mean, I could go through a lot of what ifs. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. What if we fell in love with the earth just as it is, without judgment, learn to accept it entirely, and thereby learn also to accept entirely ourselves? Mm. Would that change the world, eradicate wars? I think if we did it entirely and fully, it could, mm -hmm. at least for our existence. Mm -hmm. There would be still some negative reflection or positive absorption or however you want to refer to it. Because polarity is just polarity. But I do fundamentally believe that the way that we transcend and move into the next degrees of our evolution and our soul journey is by falling in love with this place just as it is. Acceptance. Yeah. 
instead of trying to change everything, it, like I was saying earlier, let's fix this, then we have to hurry up if we can just accept things as they are. Let's assume you're Mother Earth. Mm -hmm. And all your inhabitants are looking at you saying, you know, Earth would be so much better if we didn't have all this pollution. Earth would be so much better if we didn't have all the sickness that shows up in the world.